my first modification to my new 2021 Jeep Wrangler JL. Uh, the first modification we're going to do is a Jeep caliper brake paint job, which is a great first modification to do when your Jeep is fresh out of the factory because your car has low miles. Yeah, what we've got is the G2 paint caliper system. This is a two-part paint system where you mix the catalyst in with the actual paint and it provides a super strong, long-lasting bond paint application to the calipers and this is heat, I think, up to about 900 degrees. So you don't have to worry about reapplying this product every couple of years. It should last quite a while. I've used it before on one of my Mustang projects and uh, it's held up very good over 10 years now. It's a good product to use. It's a brush-on application as opposed to a spray-on. Uh, some of the sprays are really good, but uh, they're also really messy. It's clean the parts really well, make sure that they're really clean. They try to clean the kit as well. Uh, mask everything off that you don't want to get some paint on, and then uh, just brush away. So we're going to put on three applications. The first is a very light coat. Uh, the second one is a coat where it starts to really fill in and start looking nicely, you know, you know minimize the streakage. And then the third coat's a bit of a heavier coat, and that's where the shine and the leveling really comes together on the you know, application so looking forward to it. Yeah let's get started. So this is the uh, rear caliper bracket. We decided to take the bracket off to actually be able to paint all the way around it and do a, a much better job. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is these are the pins for the caliper that the caliper rides on. I'm probably going to just tape those up uh, in these uh, metal clips here that the, the brake shoes or brake pads ride in. I will take those off because those will be impossible to really mask around and that will give us a much better job because we'll be able to get all around the entire caliper without um, getting paint on the factory hardware to look much better when it's done. So a little extra work, but uh, well worth it, I think.
All right, so that's a wrap on our brake caliber paint job. We're very happy with the results. All in all, it took us about six hours, but that was with two people painting, and that was also including the time that we took to film. Yeah, an important point that I would like to make is uh, I've done this kit before on the red Mustang that Courtney uh, shot earlier. Uh, that's been on there for about 12 years and it actually has held up really, really well. But for that job, I left the calipers and the brackets in place and just brushed everything on. I did mask it really, really well, but uh, I was never really thrilled with the result of that one just in terms of the detail. So for this one, we actually took things apart. We removed all the factory little clips and hardware, um, did a great job masking off everything, uh, the fittings and so forth. And it just provides a much better job in the end. You can see, you know, the contrast between the black and the factory clips and the fresh color of the blue. It just is an extra attention to detail that uh, is well worth the time. And that did take more time. That's why it took, you know, up to six hours. That combined with the shooting and the video, and that slows everything down. But uh, I would definitely advise people to do it that way if you're really looking for a good job. You know, a great job. It's the difference between a good job and a great job, I think. Yeah, and yeah, so definitely budget roughly six hours if you want to do it right. And again, the system that we used was the Brake Caliper Paint System by G2. They have 12 different colors and then also they have a really cool option to enter a custom paint code to match your color of your car exactly. So this will run you roughly $60. I'll throw the link from Amazon in the description. So if anyone else wants to do this exact uh, paint job to their car, um, it will be linked there. So yeah, we've got some upcoming projects planned for this Jeep. Courtney's got her eye on uh, lifting the Jeep slightly. We put a two and a half inch lift on it, a uh, new wheel and tire package, and some side steps. And so stay tuned for that and be on the lookout for that in the future episode. Yeah, we got a lot of mods coming up. So if you like this type of content, of course, subscribe, comment, and like. And if you have any questions about this mod, definitely leave them below and we'll try our best to answer them. So good luck and thanks for watching. How's it going?